Namaste kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a presence. So it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity. Also health and wealth. Um, before we hop into this reading, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload a beautiful reading. This is going to be for the sign of Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Or wherever you may have Aquarius in your chart. Ooh, so hot. I've been having this just going. I hope you all are doing well. I did just make an IG. So if you guys have IG and want to stay connected with me, follow me at Divine Light dot tarot and i will be uploading daily readings um going live and things of that nature uh, once we get the the um followers up because i literally just started it it's a brand new all right so aquarius for your download i got for you you may be dealing with a libra or a libra is very significant but the scales are being balanced for you. You may be in a situation where you need to see both sides are important. What's right is what's right. And what's wrong is wrong. Do the right thing, Aquarius. So for a lot of you, you could be in a situation where you are being uh, forced, so to speak, to do the right thing or speak up for somebody or speak up for yourself, all right? Um, you could be dealing with someone who could be doing something that you do not like and you're just not going for it and you need to speak up. I'm not sure how it may be playing out in your life, but yes, if it resonates, just make sure you're doing the right thing no matter what is what I'm getting for you guys, okay? So let's see, we're gonna see what's going on with Divine Feminine. For Aquarius, please. Holy Divine Spirit, what's going on with Aquarius? Yeah, so we have an Eight of Wands. Some things coming in, messages coming in, a lot of communication. This could be via the internet. This could be via email, text, um, phone. This could be in regards to a Gemini or a Virgo may be involved. But I do feel like... There is something you're trying to create, something you're trying to bring about, bring into fruition, something that is very long lasting. I feel like you could also have a lot of help coming in. All right. In regards to something you're trying to put together, maybe you're trying to put together like an event or um, could be even a new business. You're doing this. You're doing some heavy fucking manifesting, Aquarius, what I see here. What's going on with Divine Masculine, Aquarius? Two of Pentacles in the reverse. So you're making decisions and you're staying standing solid on them. I'm hearing ten toes down. Yep. We have the Emperor coming out in your energy, Divine Masculine. So you're very... Um, you're very strong-minded and willful in things that you decide to do, things that you say. Um, you don't take no for an answer. You don't take no excuses. Like, it's, it is what it is. It could even be in regards to your children, your wife, your family, your business. Like, it is what it is. Like, you call the shots and what you say goes. All right? Yeah, we have the Ace of Cups here. Could definitely be in regards to love. Um, or your children, like I said, definitely um, an opportunity of love coming in. You could have your eye on somebody, Divine Masculine. Um, what's going on with the magician, the hangman here? Okay. There's a Pisces very significant as well for the Divine Feminine. I feel like you are being enlightened in regards to what you need to do to manifest this yeah we have the ten of cups and the eight of cups so it's something you're needing to walk away from um in order to walk towards your wish fulfillment your ultimate wish fulfillment okay make sure you're not being um oh i don't know why i just heard black ball very significant 
there could be somebody hating on you, Divine Feminine, because they, they see here whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, like it's going to be successful. It's going to bring you a lot of fucking happiness and success, but somebody's trying to put a fork in the road or delay your process to this. Somebody is trying to get you to walk away from this, whatever this may be, this manifestation, manifestation you're trying to bring about, but stay firm and stay grounded and believe in what it is that you're doing and believe in what it is that you're calling in. Why are the two of pentacles in reverse? Eight of swords, nine of swords. Put an ending to um mind games you're playing with yourself, Divine Masculine. There's no need to be stressed out about any decisions you're making. You're in the emperor energy, okay? You are very willful and strong-minded. And when you go across how you really feel or when you go against how you really feel, you put yourself in this five of pentacles energy. Some of you guys with the... With the Ace of Cups coming over the Emperor. Some of you guys could be very stern, but you also have a really soft heart. You also have a really big heart. You're very loving. You're very caring. And you don't want to have to leave certain people out in the cold, but you just might have to. If they don't see things the way you do, or if they're not following the rules or the, the, the stipulations you have set up, they got to go. They're not doing anything but bringing stress and anxiety and Somebody could be guilty about doing something and you may catch somebody up and they got to go. But it's their own fault, whoever this is. Why is the eight of wands here? Ten of pentacles. Ooh, divine feminine. You got the ten of pentacles and the ten of wands. That's winning in every way every way whatever it is that you're working on divine feminine whatever it is that you're cooking up in that kitchen whatever it is that you're manifesting it's going to bring you great joy great joy and this joy is going to last forever look at this infinity sign this is infinite blessings infinite power infinite infinite abundance and then you have the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups cl clarifying this energy period wow I'm hearing can't stop, won't stop. Okay. All right, Divine Feminine. What's going on here? And I'm also hearing as well, um, Divine Feminine, whoever has to walk away or whoever is being forced to walk away because I feel like the Divine is making it so that you don't have to really be the one to break anybody's heart. Some people are just going to start self-selecting their self out. Like God is removing people, getting people out of your way. You, you might start seeing people just falling out of your life and you don't understand why. Huh, it's for a reason. It's for a reason. It's for your, your highest good. Learning and forgiving. And we have trust. And we have codependent. And at the bottom of the deck, we have release your ex. So there is somebody who is codependent to your energy. This is for divine feminine and divine masculine. All right. This person you could be walking away from. Okay. Towards your true love. All right. Because I feel like you forgive this person and you've learned your lesson in regards to this connection, whoever this ex is, but it's time to go. We gotta go. We gotta go Because where you're going You can't be having nobody codependent to your energy That's very unhealthy and toxic Addictions are affecting your romantic life There's somebody around you who is very toxic And they're, they're, they could be addicted to you Or they're just addicted to some type of substance or, or some type of bad habit That is not warranted to this ten of pentacles and this ten of cups life like it's like you got to get yourself together get your act together and even if you do i may not still be here for you i, I want you to do it for yourself it's how you feel because you already know who you're supposed to be with all right so that's what i have for you aquarius i hope it helps like share comment subscribe i'll see you next time bye i share